Hello and welcome. Today is the 9th day of April 2017. My name is Derek and let's take a look at silver on the daily weekly. But before we do, the NHL playoffs will kick off this week. And if you're making or planning on making any future bets for teams to win or at least win their conference, I can show you ways which uh, has a good chance of giving you greater profits for taking a team to do the exact same thing. I'm going to do a video about this on Tuesday. This works for all major sports in traditional playoff brackets. Okay, so that will be Tuesday. Today's Sunday, and the market's going to open uh, later today. And Friday's session was very interesting as it was an outside day. Lows not seen since this breakout, and new highs still piercing below the previous one. And within such, I get an outside day after this type of sideways up consolidation, which was riding this 18 average, neutral. Neutral with, I don't know what the bias is. Up bias because of this. Down by or neutral bias because of this. And then down bias because of this. So this is pretty much about as neutral as I can call it at this stage. And until it can either have this clear break above this major, more large uh, point of resistance at 18 and a half, then there's no way I can deem anything relatively bullish. It is, meanwhile, finding support one basis penny away from Fibonacci in towards the 18 average band. And well, that's one of the stages that you look for. Okay, you break out from the band, you come back, and everything is normal in that stage. And if it continues to do so well, Again, signifying break above here, break above here. That's really what I'm going to be needing. You have a decent sized down move, which was very fast. Whenever setups look really good, and it looked like a darn near good bullish setup. I talked about it the night before. Then something like that happens. I've seen that so many times in the past. If something looks so good to go long and it's not, yeah, this can happen. Vice versa, if something looks good to be short, it goes way up. I've seen so many failed move fast moves before. It did technically break above here. Failed move fast move. Let's look at this on the weekly chart, which had this uptrend, then this downtrend, now this uptrend. The streak of three consecutive weeks is over. It has been a long, long time since you've had an up down up down up down kind of deal there's always been consecutive up and down weeks in a row going back well since uh here i mean that doesn't mean much but with the chart setting is concerned and i've only changed a little bit up top downtrend talked a lot about this sideways band establish resistance come back to the band oh geez red candle that can't be good uh, maybe, but it's still in, just like the 18 average of bands on the daily chart is doing, it's back in the correctionary phase. Any type of higher lows, anything that holds this band pretty, pretty much doesn't kill the trend. So the current phase is a band breakout test. This one here for change in trend via further break. And it's correctionary mode. So this is the correctionary mode for doing such. And if this thing goes down in here and stays in within this band and it goes flat, I'd be very concerned that we'd have a possible retest of the December lows. But uh, for now, I guess you could call a lot of this neutrality again. If uh, there's no further momentum, we would have this range of about 17 to 18 and a half of, of such. If uh, it just holds through, not doing much on a bullish level, that is. Okay, that will be it for today, and uh, take care.